Hey guys, welcome back out here to the shop. You guys are new to the channel. Um, yeah, well, welcome. If you guys are returning, well, you guys know what we're working on. So the last one, we uh, well, we did the work on our crank here, and I had one of my buddies at work ask me, so what was the point of doing that? Well, by taking this out, we've lightened the crank down here on this end, and that's where the weight of this is going to be. So. By lightening that, we have essentially, I'm not going to say we balanced this engine, but it's a whole lot less apt to hop now. And by opening this up, that there also reduces your you know, reciprocal weight to keep it from wanting to shake so bad. So with that said, you guys see it rolls super smooth. And see, our light side always comes up now. So we know that this is lighter than the other side. These are our counterbalance for our connecting rod. All right, let me get this flywheel off. We'll get our cam put back on here. And uh, we're going to keep moving forward on this. We'll get our piston put in here tonight. We'll get our cam put in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and lap our valves and get our head reinstalled. And then I need to get to work on you know, milling our slot in here. You remember that? We're going to put these you know, bearings in here that I'm glad they put them in a big bag because they would have been lost to the winds by now if not. So, all right, let me get that flywheel off of there. All right, we got our flywheel off. We went ahead and drove our uh, cam bushing back in. And uh, let's get our cam here cam and our flyweights we aren't going to do anything to modify our flyweights on this at all yet so we may be addressing the ramp issue here on our cam but we'll see how how it copes with having a well that little bitty roller there on our push rod i can keep this thing together Okay, we got our cam to slit on there. We'll go ahead and put this on there. You can see it wants to slide out so we know we don't have anything binding up. It's a good thing. So, look at this. We don't have it rubbing on anything. That's nice. So let's go ahead and slide our timing gear back onto our crank. Check our mesh. And we're not going to tighten this down onto our crank yet because that's how we're going to set our timing when it comes to our, well, the relationship of our piston to our rod. Or, I'm sorry, that's how we're going to set the uh, relationship of our piston to our exhaust push rod and our ignition. So we're going to leave this flywheel off. Let's uh, set this whole model off to the side right now. Take a look at this little cylinder head. They are brass or possibly bronze seats. It looks like it's a possibly all one piece clear up here to our valve guides. And you can see that we didn't get any paint on the inside. Maybe you can see that. We got it on the front here, but to keep it out of the inside and to get the whole thing coated, a quick tip is to put a little bit of grease in there, wipe it off good. And then do the same thing with the other side and then when you're done you can just wipe the grease out and paint won't stick to grease so all right let me get the valves and to lap them we're just going to use a little bit of toothpaste we're going to do them one at a time and well you can't do them both because you don't have room to get a hold of it so let me get the things set up and i'll show you guys what i mean okay i think we're all set up here guys uh we're going to start with the exhaust first the exhaust one has more more uh, loops on the spring versus our intake. You guys can see the difference. This one's our intake and then this one's our exhaust. So 
We'll start with our exhaust valve first. We'll get this uh, retainer off of the end of here, making sure not to launch it across the shop so we can put it back together when we're done. We'll take our valve retainer off and our spring. And uh, yeah, these are just little brass valves on little brass seats. We don't want to use anything too aggressive. And uh, what we're going to do is just take some of this toothpaste, get it on the head of our valve, on the face of it there, just like that, and drop it in here. And then we're going to turn it with our cordless drill. When it's done, we'll take it back out. We'll do the same thing with the inlet. We'll put it all back together. So let me get the drill out here. Show you guys what I mean. Grab our valve stem, just run it down just to where it's just grabbing it. We don't want it slipping, but we also don't want it to chew it up. So just where it's snug. And then we're going to run our drill and keep pressure back towards the face. So we'll do that for a second, just like this. Push it away and let that toothpaste get in there and do its work. We'll run it the other way for a little bit. Open it up, we'll see what we got. And you saw that toothpaste was well, just white as can be. And now if you look at it, you can see the discoloration. There you go. Well, we've taken the high spots off our exhaust. I'll do the same thing with the inlet. We got our intake valve spun too. And you guys can see this in here was just as clean as the first one. But you guys can see that gray on there. We've polished this up nice. We do have, I'll show you guys, let me wipe it off. This silly camera. But it polished up really nice. I can see it. Up closer, I can see right where it's wearing at, and we do have a good face on here yet to work with. So, and then our seats in here, you can see how it's a lot shinier on that seating surface than on the rest of it. Let me get it to show up for you. That's not too bad, but I'll wipe this other one off, and make sure we get that all cleaned out, and we'll get it put back together. Well, we're all cleaned out. Our valves are cleaned up. It doesn't matter which one we start with. We'll start with our intake. Let's slide it in there. Push it forward with our finger and hold it. Slide our valve spring and our keeper down on the valve stem. And then install our retaining E-clip. We will. Like I said, we'll slide this down on here. Missed the toothpaste by a little bit. We'll install our retainer just like that. So there you go. I'll do the same thing with the exhaust valve. Both valves are installed. We're going to go ahead and put this back on. This is our exhaust rocker. We'll put it back on so we have, well, essentially a completed cylinder head assembly. So we'll slide this back down in there, get our pin through there. And when it comes to our piston ring, I'm going to try to run this Viton one yet and see what kind of a result we can expect with it. And uh, I guess we'll we'll find out more in the end. Get this head put together and then we'll move on. All right, guys. Well, hey, we've got our cylinder head completely assembled. And, uh, well, went ahead and, well, shined it and almost polished this rod up. So... And we are going to reuse this Viton ring. So we'll slip that back on. We're going to apply a little bit of oil to it. And get him reassembled. Okay. And I don't know if you guys can see the that little dimple there. Oh. Um, it's a stake mark to realize which side top and bottom are. So, okay, let me get this piston put back in here. 
Well, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to take a little bit of a assembly grease. We're going to put that there in our uh, rod journal. There. Okay. Let me get this put back in. And uh, be right back. Okay, guys. Well, hey, I learned something too. This connecting rod is wider than the piston. It wouldn't fit. Now it does. We just, well, cleaned off the extra flashing. So what we're going to do is uh, reapply some assembly lube. And we're going to do this again. So there you go. Now that fits through there. Put a little bit of oil on that piston. We'll get it bolted back together. We'll get our head put back on. Okay, guys. Well, we've got our piston put back in here. Everything turns nice and freely. And uh, if you guys are wondering about this base, well, this was from, well, the last video that we made, Chris's engine. And uh, I figured, well, we might as well use it. We can hold this down and have a nice spot to work. Don't forget, we are going to make a cart for this engine. And uh, well, I'll show you guys the wheels that we're going to use. So, all right. Well, hey, let's get our cylinder head put back on here. All right, guys. Well, we've got our uh, cylinder head mounted. I think everything is done that we were going to do. I guess we can put our uh, fuel tank back on. But uh, we still got to do some work on this side. On this side right here. I need to quit procrastinating and just get after it. So, all right. Well, in the next one, guys, we will have that put back together. We'll get it done. Um, I guess we can see what we got for compression. I think it's going to be good, guys. I really do. So, all right. Well, hey, I'm sorry this in here was kind of chopped up and whatnot, but hey, we'll get it done. I promise. Thanks again, guys. You guys are fantastic. And in the next one, well, well, off camera, I will do all this and we'll get it back together. Hopefully we make it run. So, once again, thanks guys. We'll see you in a day or two.